thanks for tuning in uh, welcome to another Tesla video today we're gonna to be talking about the newest software update we just received it is 2020.36 and it has some exciting features and as I promised I was going to bring a new video on every single software update that has new features today's software update includes new features last week's software update also included a new feature so be sure to check that video out I'll put a link down here Today's video um, does include finally that our Model 3s and Model Ys are going to be detecting speed limit signs. I mean, this has been a big problem. I have an area where Tesla never fixed my speed limit, so it wouldn't let me go plus five on the speed limit. It's just, it's just a whole mess. And I have been doing a lot of bug reports saying, okay, fix this speed limit. And finally, they listen and looks like Tesla is now recognizing the speed limit and adjusting to that. Uh, we're gonna go try it out let's go through the release notes and then we're gonna go try it out on the road all of those new features and also i printed out some speed limit signs and i'm gonna try to see if tesla will recognize this fake speed limit sign so i'm gonna stand in front of tesla and then see if they can read the signs and what happens if we put both of these signs which one will it recognize let's get started now first there is that green traffic light chime this is saying that if you are waiting on a stop light where it is red, as soon as it turns green, it will chime to let you know that you can get going, the light is green. If you are also waiting behind another car on a red light, and if the light turns green and the car in front of you starts moving, it will give you that chime to let you know that the light is green and the car in front of you has started moving. That only works if you don't have the traffic or cruise control or auto steer is active you you must activate this through the traffic light and stop sign control and we'll, we'll go through where you can activate that in a, just a little bit but that is green chime and it gives you a warning you know green chime is only designated as a notification it is your responsibility to pay attention to the road and all that now it also has that speed assist improvement which is super exciting now our Model 3s, Model Ys, all new Teslas can recognize the speed limit that is posted using the cameras so that it can improve the accuracy of the speed limit data. I've been complaining to Tesla about this one particular area. We're going to go try it and then see if they fixed it with this new visualization. And then finally, there is also one uh, update that says cruise set speed improvement. You can quickly now adjust the traffic over cruise control or auto speed, uh, steer speed to the current speed by just tapping the cluster and the speedometer. So when you are when you have the speed limit set, but then you are going faster than the speed limit or slower than the speed limit, and you want that speed limit to be the new speed limit, you press right here where the the speed cluster is. And I'll do a demo of this in just a little bit. That is all the release notes. Uh, let me quickly show you where you can change um, the setting. So if you go to autopilot, right here it says green traffic light chime. This is where you can uh, turn on the green traffic light chime for it to chime after it turns green. With that, let's go out there and then see what this update really does. There's a speed limit sign that's coming up. There it is. Let's see if Tesla recognizes. Yep, I see it right there. Let me zoom out. And there it is. Let me try a small road so I can go super slow. Here the speed limit is 25. You can see that speed limit and then there is the visualization of a speed limit as 25. Let's talk about other features and I'll come back to the speed limit later. I'm a stop at a red light and when that light turns green, it is supposed to chime to let me know that the light is green. Let us see if it does that. And you heard the chime. So it's about to turn green. And it gave me that alert. We're at a turn and the light is about to turn green. Let's see if the car beeps when that car starts moving. That was the chime. We're behind that white car and the light is about to turn green. That was the alert to let us know that the white car started moving. Let's try this one more time where we're going to be stop at a stoplight, but this time we're going to be in autopilot. So let's see if it beeps in autopilot. And there was the chime. I am in 
traffic over cruise control going speed limit of five that is the max speed limit now if i speed up to let's say 10 and i tap into it whatever speed limit that i speed up and tap on the cluster here it does that speed limit as your max now so i am at 14 I tap and then becomes 14 as your max. Now it will do 14 for you. And this is true for both autopilot and traffic over cruise control. Now I wanted to try if my Tesla is going to think this is a real speed limit sign. There, I'm holding a 45 speed limit sign and Tesla thinks that it is a real speed limit and there's a pole out there holding that speed limit sign which is not true and there is no speed limit in this road just by the way it is a small residential road now let me try with a different speed limit and see what happens now i'm standing at the exact same spot with the 40 speed limit sign and tesla thinks the speed limit is 40. what happens if i hold both signs now i'm, I'm holding both of those signs and it is recognizing only the 45 which is closer to the car towards the curb so only recognizing that left sign of 45. Tesla's autopilot computer is so advanced that it learns the things that it sees while driving and it is remembering the next time. So it's kind of iterative learning process, learning by seeing what is out there. So will it remember the fake stop sign next time we drive through there? And here it goes. I'm no longer holding the speed limit sign, but Tesla thinks that the speed limit is 45 here. And as we drive a little further, the pole with the 45 speed line limit pops up, but there is no pole with the 45 speed limit anymore. It was me holding that sign early. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful. It was interesting. It's exciting actually that Teslas can now finally read the speed limit signs. You know, the Autopilot 1 used to do that, uh, the older Teslas, but now our Teslas, the newer Teslas can read speed limit sign. I mean, I'm, I'm super excited about that. I'm also very excited about that feature that we got where it beeps if there is a green light. So, you know, for some time you just don't see the green light, maybe you're distracted, but it is really good to know now that it, it gives you that beep so that you know to get going when the light turns green. Everything, I mean, it's been, it's been crazy. Like with all these new software updates, it's just super exciting. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will continue bringing amazing Tesla contents, exciting Tesla contents to all of you. Uh, if there is a new software update with new features, I will for sure to make a video about all of this. Stay tuned for many more videos coming. Thank you so much again. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification, like this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any thoughts or feedback. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Namaste.